Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 72. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, this is it. Welcome to episode 72. The final episode of Forza Motorsport 2. And we are doing the Sebring Grand Prix. The fastest race cars push themselves to the limit on the granddaddy of American road courses. Obviously, Sebring is one of the best American tracks that I have driven. It's not to say it's the best track, but it's the best American track. Uh, we're going to be taking part uh, around Sebring International Raceway. 35 laps. First place gives us 280,000 credits, um, along with all the bonuses of getting gold in the event, and then also the bonuses of, uh, what's it called, completing all the endurance gold, so there's going to be a huge amount of credit re reward for this. Uh, we are taking the Ferrari, and uh, we are just going to get straight into it. I am not even going to bother cutting this up, we're just going to get into it, because this is is it this is such this has been such a good game i will be honest it has been an enjoyable experience to play forza motorsport 2 um i'm very much have enjoyed it uh there's been its ups and downs but if forza motorsport 2 is a 10 on the scale forza motorsport 1 is like a 3 that's how much of a step up this game has been over motorsport 1 like, it's such an improvement, such a much more enjoyable game. And I think it's actually worth trying out. As long as you play it before Motorsport 3 and 4. Because I can tell you right now, Motorsport 3 and 4, make that leap again over this. But uh, here we are, round Sebring. Let's get going. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this engine sounds good. The big wing gang. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this car is actually featured in Motorsport 3 and 4. So, I want to keep a tradition and actually in Motorsport 3, use this as the final car again in that game. So uh, one thing we do need to keep an eye on is uh, tire wear. Ah shit, I've gone into reverse. It's not ideal. Um, so yeah, one thing we need to keep an eye on is tire wear because even though there is 35 laps, I do see this being a three stop race. One on lap 10, 20 and 30. But potentially it might be 9, 18, and 27. So it all depends how stuff goes. Uh, there'll definitely be a load of credits for getting gold in all of the endurance races. There'll also be gold for getting this event gold. And then there'll also be the first place credits as well. It would be cool to see all gold as like all gold in all the championships as a bonus credit reward. That could be quite cool. But uh, it all depends. Oh, you mean end credits. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think there was end credits in Motorsport 1. But I can't remember because that was a long time ago. It was like two months ago. Nearly. Yeah, 
Okay, so I need to be careful that I'm not shifting into reverse, because I keep doing it. No worries, Cardo. Do 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 do. It's quite cool, actually, this song. I've said it multiple times today correctly. <laughs> I've done it multiple times. I got it right. I was proud earlier when I got it right. <laughs> I love the way this Ferrari looks. The fact that I can spend time to admire the car whilst on this straight, because that is how long it is. I was only a five gear car. I didn't realize it only had five. Probably why I've been shifting into reverse. The braking is so harsh. From like 250 to 150 is extremely harsh. After that, it's not so harsh. Not bad. This thing is flying. a drink I can't do anything I'm being held hostage now one thing I do want to try and do is keep this car in pristine condition all throughout this event I don't want to crash once Grandpa on the road. My god, if Grandpa is getting out onto the circuit, we've got bigger problems. <laughs> Where's the goddamn security? the good news, Cotto. Colin lost his way to the snack stand. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the car looks much bigger in this game than it did in the other game. Like, just cars feel bigger. I, I don't know whether it's just the viewing angle. Hey, 
no bots. Yeah, the track could be scaled a bit differently, but it doesn't feel like the car is bigger relative to the track. Like, the track feels larger. I, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, more than likely it's they've adjusted the field of view. Made it much narrower. I've just realized I haven't got enough music for this race. Uh, okay, on the straight I'm going to have to hop over to my music app. Five laps in, 30 laps to go. Uh, right, we're going to put on drum and bass. Uh, who are we putting on? Who are we putting on? Pendulum. There we go. I did that one-handed. Right, so one thing I do want to have a look at the is the uh, telemetry. I want to have a look at body acceleration and see how many Gs this car can actually pull. Oh, thank you for the posture check. I actually needed that. It's kind of a bit slunched over. Yeah, so the, the actual body acceleration is pretty... Excessive. Uh, tire wear's looking okay. We are five laps in, so I think mathematically speaking, ten laps in will be about uh, eighty percent tire wear. Why do you keep redeeming drinks? I can't drink. Na, 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 na. Holy shit, this thing's quick. Speedy man, Maji. Because it's fun. I, I mean, fair enough. You could save up the channel points and, you know, punch Sir Fallen, maybe. That could be a better option. A better use of your points. That was way too close for comfort. I want to try and keep this in pristine condition, even though it's covered in... Fire dust and shit. Oh my god, that was a critical hit. Water is important, in it. Yeah, water is important. But do you want to know what else is important? Me finishing this race, in it. <laughs> what the fuck? Picking on him in Discord more. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> Be gone. What? I mean, we all like picking on Fallen. It's fallen, isn't it? <laughs> I don't even know where he went. He disappeared earlier. He's gone. I think he's too busy driving cars. He's going vroom vroom. With a Porsche. Drink to water. Can I get a hi, yeah? Fair enough. That's a valid argument. Oh, lovely. Sweaty palms. 
dumbest thing in the world. I definitely need to give this controller a clean. Hey, that's all fine. What uh, what episode did you get up to of the test drive one? Fifteen. Bloody hell. That's quite a lot in one day. Maybe two. I don't know how long you've been watching it for. Yeah, that um. TDU 1 series on the PS2. That was a fun one to make. Um, it was a pain in the backside to try and edit it. Because I wanted to make it look decent. Because I kid you not, the footage that got recorded on that PS2 is horrendous. PS2, like if you use a European PS2, it's horrendous. An American one's fine. It doesn't look as bad. The quality's lower, but it's not, like, interlaced or anything like that. In Europe, it's all, like, 536i or something like that. So it's all interlaced. It's horrendous. Yeah, I did see that. I didn't know how far in you were, though. Like, what episode number you were on. But yeah, the Test Drive 2 series that I did, that was episode 6, fair enough, that makes sense. Yeah, the Test Drive 2, Test Drive Unlimited series, it it was an enjoyable one. There was a lot of doing races though, there wasn't, um, it wasn't a lot of variety, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was one of the more fun series that I've done. Oh, these tyres are going by the way, they're going. I'll be making my way to the pits. Making my way to the pits to get new rubbers because I go vroom vroom. Making my way downtown, walking fast. I'm a seagull, go fuck yourself. na 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 King good. Okay. Oh, is that the um it was like £78, wasn't it? The Ava Media 108060 had an input and an output. Yeah. It's not bad, but the only thing with that one is you have to have a PC to use it, which I mean is fair enough. I mean, most people, unless you're like actually going out and about, that's kind of a useless feature having the portability of the one that I have. But uh, when it comes to... It's just the one that I've got allows me to output in 4K to a 4K monitor if I want to. I don't have a 4K monitor, though. It was kind of pointless again. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent more money on a capture card that I barely use the extra features. It's £69 now. Ooh, that's a good price, actually. I recommend getting that.
69, full 20. Ah. We've had a good race so far. Yeah, 25 laps to go, and uh, every single bone in my body aches. I'll be honest. Power is nothing without control. Yeah, pretty much. Straight up ending, ending the stream. Because then after this, I've got to sort out the footage, then get on editing edit the videos and then start setting up all my buttons on my uh, portal ready for Motorsport 3 because I have Motorsport 2 buttons on here. Stuff like when taking my screenshots for my thumbnails and all that stuff. That stuff has to be manually changed per game. By the way, if you do exclamation mark um, falls of photos, you should be able to uh, see all of my thumbnail photos that I've taken throughout this whole series. What did the email say, Cardo? Have you tried VR yet, Fallen? Oh yeah, so what e Twitch will do is it will tell you that there's been multiple instances of copyrighted content. It's a new thing that they've done um, to let you know that you've got a copyrighted content in there. Uh, and then what Twitch does is it um, stops publishing any new content to the point you have to go in and manually publish it. So whenever you stream, you have to go into the video manager. There is a way you can disable it. Um, so that it can, it doesn't do those alerts. So, in a way, yeah. There is a way you can disable it, so I can show you. Ooh, fuck. I'll show you how to disable it uh, after the stream, though, Cardo, if you want. I said you like screenshots, or whatever. I don't know. Oh, you 100% can, Fallen. You 100% can. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, you definitely want to have a look at VR though once you finish work in that because it is something else well my favourite track is Magello but that's a DLC one but you bought the DLC so yeah Try Magello. It's a Italian track. Um, it's pretty nice. It's flowing. It's in this game as well. Um, the only thing is, uh, you don't get many top speed runs with it. There's there's one straight where you can go fairly fast, but it, it's a lot of corners. Shit. I didn't realize I was in reverse. Go forwards. I don't want to hit the wall. Thank you. Um, yeah, so Magello is my favourite one that's in Project Cars 2. I think it's actually owned by Ferrari, Magello, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I know Ferrari has their own test track, which is also in Project Cars. I think Magello's owned by Ferrari, though. But I don't know. So I can't say. It's owned by Ferrari, if it's not owned by Ferrari. I'm not going to lie, though. My favourite combination uh, in uh, Project Cars 2 
Uh, what's it called? Yeah, Long Beach is okay. My favourite combination is... Um, Aston Martin DB11. Around... Um, Miguelo is lovely. Also, my second favourite track, uh, Donington. Donington Raceway. It's a beautiful track in the UK. Yeah, so it's fine though. It didn't post twice on my end. Did it? Oh no, it did. Never mind. Yeah, so. Um. Yeah, it should be fine. I mean, by all means, it's not a strike, so. You're still fine. Yeah, so you can do that, and then you uh, have to re-enable uh, automatically upload in VODs. Or automatically publish in VODs. It's somewhere a little bit lower down on that setting. Midnight Blue DB11 around Magello. I hope you're right. It is really good, but the, uh, the DB11, if you floor it, can be prone to oversteer. Which is why on the wheel it is so enjoyable because you can sort of kick the rear end out and slide it around a couple of those corners. Um, it is a lovely car around that track. I think one of my favourite drives that I've done so far though is uh, the Audi R8 around Donington. That was one of my favourites as well. Audi R8 round Donington was fucking amazing. But Donington is an extremely difficult track um, to get used to. You have to learn the track because the breaking points are non-existent pretty much. There's a lot of weird corners. It's, it is a very tough track, but it's really good. Bring it on home. So yeah, this race I think is going to be just over an hour. So we've got about 30 minutes left of this race. Why do you want charging, huh? Please charge. It's gonna cost you a fiver to charge you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it cringes me out.
gonna push on this lap because I think I should have enough tires just for this lap. on that, thanks. <laughs> oh, puff me. Oh my god. Cringy business names are the worst thing in the world. Businesses that try and be trendy is just a big no. Weird. Eh. Has this just shuffled a playlist, put on a Propane Nightmares remix, and then the original song afterwards? Oh no, I went into reverse. It's not a good idea. Ah. Come on, we got this. But I got one of my own to keep me clean. Come on, we got this. I'm not a very fan of watermelon food, like the actual watermelon. Not my cup of tea. Oh no, I damaged the front of the man. Car, when did I do that? I was a bit too aggressive, apparently. At some point. Yeah, watermelon's not my favourite thing, I'll be honest. Um, it's nice occasionally, but not as a regular, like, fruit. Um, watermelon flavoured things, really nice. Nice one. Cheers to that, Cotto. Jesus, this thing's quick. Yeah, that's fair enough. No worries.
Twitch. I can't. <laughs> I, I, I don't have the capacity, big man. <laughs> I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. <laughs> Oh, I should have gone into the pits then. Shit. That was my pit window. I've gone past it. I just said fuck the pit window. I have to chuck something later. Fucking hell. Okay, fair enough. I will get into it later. Probably. If I remember. Which I won't. Maybe. I'll turn the mic up a little bit. Do 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 do. Turn the mic up a bit means I can be a bit quieter. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> that was brilliant. I could just slide into DMs. Oh, we're past the halfway mark and I didn't even notice. Fucking hell. Forget how short this pit lane is. I think I've just accidentally loaded my video editing software on my PC. I hope I haven't, because uh, if I have, it's gonna absolutely lack the ass out of it while it loads. Uh, I didn't. We're safe. <laughs> That would have been embarrassing. Oh, why is your stream crashed? Oh, because I loaded up Da Vinci. <laughs> Baboon. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, they just taking too much care. Of. I saw just dust everywhere. It was like something's crashed. <laughs> There's always a chance you drop something and ban someone. That was an accident, okay? I didn't mean to ban Kodo. <laughs> I still can't believe I dropped my mouse. And as I was trying to catch it, when I clicked the left mouse button, and it just... <laughs> So annoying. What are the chances of that happening? Slim to none. Like, fuck me. Yeah, give me that space, you pleb. It's hard to explain. It wasn't. So I was moving my mouse across to, um, from, like, my main display onto my OBS page. And clearly when I've stopped moving my mouse, it's been resting on one of the ban buttons. Because I was going to click on a username on my chat, and I dropped my mouse at that point. And it had hit the ban button. Like, it's just so strange how it happened. 
like everything in the universe lined up for that to happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> the chances are slim. It's really fucking annoying. What's even worse is it's not the first time I've done it. I've actually done it before as well. The first time I did it, it wasn't even in my chat. <laughs> it was in someone else's. <laughs> uh, I can't remember whose it was, but I have done it in someone else's. And I was like, oh fuck, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it was fucking hilarious. Wow. They're definitely not slim in my case. Because it's fat. Sorry, it was a really shit fat joke. <laughs> Storm Island is done. Hey, nice one. What is that? All the achievements as well. Not bad. Just remember, heat makes things expand. Ah, yeah, so I'm not fat, I'm just hot. Cheers for that. <laughs> uh, the multiplayer ones, I'm not sure how to do it, actually. Um, I don't think there's a way I could help you with that, because I'd have to be signed in. Unintentional drifting. Let's go. Oh no, it doesn't. And yeah, I forgot about that. Multi doesn't work in Horizon 2 no more. I think it doesn't work in Horizon 2 or 3. Horizon 4's multiplayer will get stopped once Horizon 6 comes out, or fairly soon after Horizon 6 comes out. I hate when developers put multiplayer achievements in games. It's like the limited time event things that I was on about. Like, you know when Forza adds, like, limited time? for you to actually, like, complete something and get a car. It's similar with that. The achievement is limited. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I suppose, but you wouldn't be able to have two consoles signed in, so you wouldn't have Blizzard Mountain on both. You'd only have Blizzard Mountain on one. bad. Yeah, but it doesn't own Blizzard Mountain, does it? That's why I said it wouldn't work with Blizzard Mountain. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, there is a way fallen. You can actually modify the AI, so you can change how aggressive they are. So um, you can change it from tame to aggressive, and you can also tune how difficult they are. Um, beyond, I believe, 80 or 100 is, I think, 80 is the maximum for difficulty, and then anything beyond that, they actually allow car tuning on the AI to make the cars faster. So 
of the cars become faster than they should be. So... Yeah. Hmm? Yep. Do 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 do. That should be a bit better. It is ramped up to the max. It's not even ramped up. I'm like at three quarters mic volume. Normally I have it on half. <laughs> yeah, the AI can be dick sometimes. They're not too bad. Not bad. Eleven laps left to go. Ten included in this. Oh, I was in reverse. You're telling me an AI went straight across the track and crashed into you mid-corner to take you off. That's fucking crazy. Honestly, I have moments where my autocorrect on my phone is fucking horrendous. To the point, like... I, d I don't have an autocorrect anymore. So if I actually do a typo, like, it looks normal. But before, it was like autocorrecting words into words that I wasn't even... Didn't even think existed. Like... Wow. Okay. This engine's really nice, actually. I like it. Mostly when mech gives helpful advice. Well, clearly, somebody doesn't want to hear my advice over at Twitch. <laughs> This is it, the final leg of the final Falls of Motorsport 2 stream. 
This is lovely. We got one more lap and then we can do our pit stop. And then final stint. Uh huh, we are nearly done. Nearly done. Not much left to do. I have done so well to not bin it. And I binned it right at the end. It's not even right at the end. There's still got a few laps to go. We're going in for an early stop. My wheels are twitchy. Gone. Yeah, we'll come in for an early pit stop for this one. We were going to come in on 27, but we have enough time. We could have come on here. Nah. Forza doesn't let you do that, unfortunately. You can't, like, terminal damage the car. You can 100% everything, but it's still drivable. It's just extremely slow. Yeah. It's a really weird way of doing it. But, I mean, to appeal to a SimK genre, like a Simcade audience. That's kind of what you need to do. You can't have it so that if you crash, it's just completely destroyed. I love this song. Called The Island, I believe. I think this is the first one. Yeah, part one. Alright, not bad. 15 seconds behind, but that is thanks to Vi Pit Stop. You and I in the rising sun. The hidden passenger that I've been taking. Okay, that was. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucked up. Alright. The one thing I do like about Falls of Motorsport is the fact that um, all of the UI is completely different in every game, so it feels fresh every single time. The one thing I am concerned about, but I don't know whether they did it just as a build. Um, Motorsport 8, or the new Falls of Motorsport, uh, from the gameplay that they've showed, has the same UI as Motorsport 7. Now, the question is, that's probably just the, a placeholder UI that they're using while they test so that they can then do the final design later. But I really hope that's not the final design because I don't want it looking the same as Motorsport 7. That was kind of the enjoyment of... Well, not the enjoyment, but that's why I think Forzas do feel fresh, even though they are fairly similar. Because the UI is different. 
experience is different. It all looks different. Everything looks different from Forza to Forza. So, if they put the same UI from Forza Motorsport 7 into the new Motorsport, I don't have high hopes for it. So, hopefully we get some gameplay soon where it actually shows a different UI, a different setup. That maybe I am just being overly cautious or something like that. What are you waiting for? Depends if Motorsport 8 comes out quick enough. More than likely we will do. But it also depends on the format of the game. If the game is formatted in a way that makes it impossible to do a series on. Uh, so for example, if it's like a live service thing. Where they're constantly adding new races and swapping the races around. Like limited time races and stuff like that. Then no. It won't be possible. See, here's the thing. They said it's going to release next spring, but I think it's going to release next November. Because Forzas have always released later in the year. Um, except for a couple of them. I think most, well, one was May. But majority of the time, the Forzas have released later in the year. And I think they did have a clause. So, in that showcase, they said... Every game will be available within the next 12 months. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Done it again. I think they said spring so that they could say that it's coming within the next 12 months. But they also had a clause that said these ga games are due for a delay. So I think they're going to announce a delay. Probably in February. Saying that the game has been delayed till November makes the most sense I guarantee you it like, I'm 95% sure that's what's going to happen and there is the 5% that they prove me wrong and that they actually release the game but what's the chances of that slim shady <laughs> chicka chicka slim shady hi my name is what my name is who my name's chicka chicka slim shady yeah, TDU Soda Crown will be early. Uh, mm, I don't know. It's good that they delayed it. Because it means that WRC Generations gets a good send-off. Because um, I'm a massive fan of WRC as well. Which is by KT Racing. So it means they can put more development time in WRC. And then once they're done with WRC, which comes out in November or October, they can then put their full focus into Solar Crown. Because they won't ever need to make another WRC game. Because that license is moving on to uh, EA. EA and Codemasters. So... Which means as well, Generations will definitely be the last game that I do in my WRC series, because the Milestone and um, KT Racing games are my most favourite out of them. I haven't tried the um, Evolution Studios ones yet, I'll be honest. I haven't tried Evolution Studios games when they did WRC for the PS2, but... I mean, it's a PS2 game. I, I doubt it's going to be spectacular. Mm. It's still going to be developed by Codemasters, though, who are not money-hungry. 
So, um, and I don't think WRC will want people to, um, what's it called? I don't think WRC, mm, I don't think they like the mentality VA, so they've probably got some hidden clauses that says they can't do like microtransactions and stuff like that. Because I know WRC isn't a sport that's strictly about the money. It's not to the level of Formula 1, that's for sure. Should be good. I can't wait for this to be done. Because then I can stretch my legs and go to sleep. And then I can do my outro. It's definitely been good playing uh, Motorsport 2. It's been an enjoyable game. I think if I played this when it came out back in 2007, I think I still would have enjoyed it. It is a pretty good game. But uh, I wasn't even into anything back when I was 2007. I would have been five. I would have been five years old. I don't think I had any hobbies or anything that I was interested in. I started getting interested in cars when I was like six, so. Yeah, three laps done. We're past the hour mark, which is crazy. It's midnight, uh, so I want to get this done fairly soon so I can go to sleep. Please. Game. Hurry up. I didn't even realise we messed up the suspension. I don't remember doing that. Right. Final three laps. <laughs> Probably. Oh my god, Kate's redeemed first. Like, six hours into the stream. That is brilliant. <laughs> Unbelievable. So that um, bunch of three cones is the perfect breaking point for this car. swings out the rear end if you hammer it. It's really enjoyable though to be able to do that with a wheel in VR and just slide around that track. Like no AI cars whatsoever. Just slide. It's fun. Boom, boom. Right, we've got two more laps to go. Oh, 
<laughs> I do agree. You would be whipping that thing around the track, but you need a wheel first. There we go. Not too bad. My tyres are going. Cheating bastards! Fuck you, AI. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right, coming up to the final lap now. Ah, shit. No, because uh, funny enough, we don't have those in the UK. Most of the time they're front wheel drive. So... Come on, glitch. <laughs> it's the final lap, for fuck's sake. <sighs> oh, I gotta do an outro. I haven't done an outro in ages. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what to say. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no. I think I should. Should have a voice, something to say. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I really hope. Someone from the Xbox Ambassador Discord. Ooh, interesting. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Skirt. Yeah, I'm. I'm not a Xbox ambassador. Doesn't doesn't bother me. <laughs> I haven't really played on Xbox in ages, so it wouldn't make sense as well. This is it. This is it. The final corner. Onto the straight. Oh my god. I got 145G. What achievements did we get? Let's have a look. Uh, so we got achieve a gold medal in every career race type and achieve a gold medal in every career event of the endurance race. Ooh, so we might actually have something special. Uh, collect all the cars, uh, secret achievements. Yeah, sod it. Let's continue. Oh my God, the GG stickers are coming in. Got a load of money. Money! Can I have my rewards, please? Let's have a look, see what we got. Drum roll, please. We got the Peugeot. We got 140 grand for finishing the Grand Prix. We got 950 grand for completing the endurance races. We didn't get a bonus. This is the Peugeot one, though. Oh, that is fucking awesome. Look at that. Wow. And I've got 10 mil in the bank. Because we did a lot of races and we won. Yeah. Anyways, thank you everyone so much for watching. 
Hopefully you have enjoyed this YouTube series. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, the uh, Forza Motorsport 2 streams will start on the 15th of August. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, the Forza Motorsport 3 stream uh, content will start tomorrow. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much for all your support. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. Uh, and if you want to help support, click that join button, check my description, check the links, check the about panels, all that stuff. Thank you very much so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.